Hey there, fellow nostalgia enthusiasts. Do you, do you remember those good old days of the late 80 seconds when we'd eagerly gather around the TV, waiting for that heartwarming family sitcom to grace our screens? Ah, uh, yes, I'm talking about the beloved 1987 TV series, Full House. Do you, why? As I stroll down memory lane, I can't help but wonder, did you watch this iconic show back in the day? It was a time when we laughed, cried, and felt like part of the Tanner family ourselves. So, let's take a trip down memory lane together, shall we? Do you recall your favorite moments from the show? Perhaps it was Uncle Jess's cool demeanor, Dana's fatherly wisdom, or Stephanie's catchphrase, how rude. Or maybe it was the heartwarming lessons about family and friendship that left a lasting impression on you. And who could forget that adorable Olsen twins tag teaming as Michelle Tanner? D.Y. I.D. love to hear your cherished memories, the characters that stole your heart, and the unforgettable experiences you had watching Full House. So, don't be shy. Share your reminiscences and let's relive those magical moments together. Now, without further ado, let's dive into some fascinating random facts about this iconic show that will surely reignite your love for it. Get ready to be amazed, and remember, it's all in the name of fun and nostalgia. In the 1987 TV series Full House, Jesse, portrayed by John Stamos, was known for his motorcycle, but he also had a classic 1965 red Mustang convertible. This iconic Mustang made an appearance in the episode The Bicycle Thief. Interestingly, the very same Mustang used in that episode was later sold at a charity auction for a staggering sum of over $120,000. What's even more exciting for fans is that John Stamos, the actor who played Jesse, autographed the glove compartment of this prized vehicle. As of 2016, Full House holds a unique distinction among former TGIF sitcoms. It remains one of only four shows from the TGIF lineup to have had its entire series released on DVD. The other three shows that share this honor are Boy Meets World, Dinosaurs, and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. This makes Full House a must-have for fans who want to relive the heartwarming moments of the Tanner family anytime they wish. In the episode The House Meets the Mouse Part 1, DJ, Tanner imagines her boyfriend Steve as Aladdin. What's fascinating is that in real life, Scott Weinger, the actor who portrayed Steve, also lent his voice to the character Aladdin in the animated Disney movie. This delightful connection adds a fun layer of trivia to the beloved series. So, whether it's the impressive auction price of Jess's Mustang, the unique DVD release status of Full House, or the serendipitous connection between DJ and Aladdin, there are plenty of intriguing tidbits to discover about this iconic 1987 TV series. In 1987, the TV series Full House hit the screens, becoming a beloved family sitcom. While there were interesting tidbits about the show, one fact stands out. The season 8 episode Comet's Excellent Adventure is the only one to be actually taped in San Francisco. All other episodes are taped outside San Francisco. This episode provided a genuine glimpse of the city, unlike the rest of the series. As for behind-the-scenes activities, there isn't substantial information available about John Stamos and the actors portraying the Rippers having frequent jam sessions during rehearsals and tapings. The show's focus was primarily on the family dynamics rather than the musical talents of the cast. Additionally, both Full House and its sequel, Fuller House, featured twins playing one character, giving the Olsen twins a unique opportunity to share the role of Michelle Tanner. In conclusion, Full House's Comet's Excellent Adventure episode brought a piece of San Francisco to the screen, offering viewers a taste of the city's charm amidst the show's family-oriented storyline. Other aspects of the show, such as jam sessions or twins sharing roles, didn't feature prominently in the series. In the 1987 TV series Full House, there's an interesting fact about the episode titled The Wedding, Part 2. This episode marks the second appearance of Rebecca's parents and also happens to be the last appearance of Jess's parents in the series. It's a significant moment in the show's development as it brings together the two main characters' families, adding depth to the storyline and showcasing the importance of family bonds in the series. According to frequent director Joel Zwick, there was an unexpected issue during the filming of the two-part episode at Disney World. Jody Sweeten, who played Stephanie Tanner, faced a challenging situation as she was constantly bombarded by fans and photographers. Some fans even went so far as to follow her into the bathroom, 
making it a stressful experience for the young actress. This incident highlights the immense popularity of Full House and the challenges the cast sometimes faced in dealing with their newfound fame. Additionally, fans of the show may be surprised to learn that Joey's famous catchphrase, Cut. It. Out. Is usually associated with Full House. However, Dave Callier, who portrayed Joey, used the same catchphrase and gestures on every episode of his earlier Nickelodeon show Out of Control. This catchphrase became an iconic part of both shows and remains a memorable aspect of Dave Coulier's career. These behind-the-scenes insights offer a glimpse into the making of Full House and the unique experiences of its cast members. It's a reminder of the show's enduring popularity and the impact it had on television during its time. In the 1987 TV series Full House, there's an interesting story behind the band known as the Rippers. While they were portrayed as a consistent band within the show, in reality, they were a real-life session band from Los Angeles that worked on many artists' records. Throughout the series, there were various members of the band, creating a bit of inconsistency. Notably, the Rippers, along with John Stamos, served as Jack Wagner's backing band in an episode of General Hospital. This behind-the-scenes tidbit sheds light on the entertainment industry's use of session musicians and how TV shows can create fictional bands for their storylines. It also highlights the versatility of John Stamos, who not only played Uncle Jesse, but also had a real musical background contributing to the authenticity of the show's musical scenes. This is just one example of how the world of Full House had its unique quirks and stories behind the scenes, adding depth to the beloved series. It's a reminder that what we see on screen isn't always a perfect reflection of reality, but it doesn't diminish the enjoyment we get from our favorite shows. And there you have it, an interesting nugget of information about Full House and its connection to the Rippers. Thanks for tuning in. Full House 1987, behind the scenes revelations during the 1987 TV series Full House. Some interesting behind the scenes revelations emerged. While we couldn't find substantial information on all the ideas you mentioned, here's what we do know. The Olsen twins and adult cast complaints. The Olsen twins, Mary Kate and Ashley, who played Michelle Tanner, had a significant presence on the show given their age. However, there are reports that the three adult leads, Bob Saget, Dave Callier, and John Stamos, separately complained to the producers about the high number of scenes featuring the twins. They believed that the twins were getting too much screen time, which sometimes overshadowed their own roles. Danny, Joey, and Jess's run-ins with the law, interestingly. All three of the male leads on Full House have had run-ins with the law, although it's purely coincidental. At some point in their lives, Bob Saget, Dave Callier, and John Stamos found themselves facing legal issues. What makes it more amusing is that during these incidents, all three were wearing something formal. The Tanner House exterior, the Tanner family's home, with its iconic exterior shots, was located at 1709 Broderick Street. However, the address used in the show for the Tanner residence is 1882 Gerard Street. This difference in addresses was part of the show's fictionalization. While these behind-the-scenes details add some intriguing layers to the beloved sitcom Full House, it's important to remember that they are just tidbits from the show's history. Full House remains a cherished classic for its heartwarming family stories and memorable characters. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the cherished 1987 TV series, Full House, I invite you to take a moment to reflect. In the heart of this iconic show lies a tapestry of memories, a timeless tale of family, friendship, and the enduring bonds that shape our lives. Full House was more than just a television series. It was a warm embrace after a long day, a source of laughter that transcended generations, and a testament to the power of love and togetherness. Whether you grew up with the Tanner family or discovered their world later, the show has likely left an indelible mark on your heart. Now, I encourage you to share your thoughts, your favorite moments, and the characters who touched your soul. Did Uncle Jess's music ignite your passion? Did Michelle's adorable antics brighten your day? Or perhaps you resonated with Dana's unwavering dedication as a father. Whatever it may be, your unique connection to Full House is a story worth sharing. Let this be a space where we celebrate the laughter, shed a tear for the tender moments, and cherish the life lessons imparted by this unforgettable show.
Share your nostalgia, your laughter, and your love for Full House with fellow fans who hold it close to their hearts, just as you do. Thank you for joining us on this trip down memory lane. Your time and interest in this beloved series are deeply appreciated. We look forward to hearing your stories and celebrating the enduring magic of Full House with heartfelt gratitude.